teleprompters have been used for years for a TV show host. Uh, they've been used for content creators on YouTube. And I even have one right here that I've been using for client work and personal projects. And it's pretty good. But Elgato just dropped a new teleprompter and I think it's pretty dope. It's a teleprompter, but it's so much more. One of the most important things that I love about this new teleprompter, and it might be just a minor thing, but to me, it means everything. And it's the fact that it has only one cable, one USB-C cable. Um, I don't own it yet, but I'm planning on purchasing it. And I have a nice office set up here and it's cable management is not really the best, but if I can eliminate or cut down as many cables as possible, I would be happy. And hearing that the Elgato just requires one cable for everything, that's that's fantastic. Another thing that I really love about the Elgato prompter is that it has a nine inch display. Now, my teleprompter here, you'll notice that it it's just a piece of glass. I'll have to extend this part out and that will enable me to either put an iPad, a, uh, a phone, and you could adjust it to any length that you want. But here's the thing, I don't have an extra iPad. My iPad that I use is actually an iPad for work, content creating stuff, a lot of billing and you know office work. And my wife has an iPad, she has an iPad Pro, and she uses that for a lot of work. And when I would have clients come over to read a script or do whatever the case is, I'd have to make sure that my iPad is on airplane mode. You would just say, well, just buy an iPad for the teleprompter. Didn't really make sense. So what I would end up doing is having clients bring their own iPads and I'll install a app that will flip their script or whatever the case is. That was another thing. So you'd have to buy an iPad and then you'd have to download an app, sometimes pay for it, pay for this special app that will flip your words, that way they come up on the teleprompter properly. But the Elgato prompter fixes all that because it actually comes with a nine inch screen. The screen you're able to use it as a display, which is crazy, I really love that. And I was able to see that you can put anything on there. So I, if, if I had the Elgato prompter right now, I would be able to, you know, see what's going on in the chat. I'll be able to read a script. I'll be able to have bullet points. I might even be able to throw in uh, something else on there. So it's pretty dope. Another thing that I love about the teleprompter is that it comes with an app. And in this app, you can control so many different things, change fonts, adjust the size. And one thing that I saw is that you can adjust the opacity. That way you can have your script and you can see your reflection. So you can see if you're in focus or you can see how your shot looks, or maybe you are just so in love with yourself that you have to see yourself at all times, like me with all these camera angles. So how would I use the prompter? I produce podcasts for clients in this home office here. And some of my podcast clients have their guest or co-host remote. So I use Ecamm so that way they can do a podcast remotely. And a lot of times the client would be looking at the monitor so instead of looking into the camera. And it's sometimes they end up saying, well, I just need to see how the person looks. I can't like, I feel weird not looking at them. It's, it's kind of crazy. I tried using the teleprompter, but the way that my current setup is, it, it doesn't really work. Uh, this is my current setup here. I have camera floating. My heavy teleprompter would not fit. So I think the Elgato prompter would work pretty well. This is too heavy. So sometimes my clients will say, I really wish I had better eye contact. I was like, well, you're going to have to look at the lens and just not look at the person, if that makes sense. And I even tried putting my monitor, I have a 34 inch monitor. I even tried like moving it slightly above or next to the camera and it still didn't work. Then I even added a uh, tiny, uh, I think it's like a newer or young newer monitor 
on the uh, hot or the cold shoe of uh, my camera here and it didn't work. It they basically would keep looking up there and not at the lens. They're like they were like up there and down here and like up there and it just seemed really weird. So the Elgato prompter will quite literally eliminate all of that because they can look directly into the little glass and see their co-host or guest or whoever and it it'll be great. But I I think I really would want to get it personally because I I do consultations via ecam and talking to someone one on one on a consultation call is very important because now this person invested two hundred dollars i my consultation rate is two hundred dollars people can sit down with me for an hour and we just go over whatever they need help with content creation wise and i feel like I owe it to them to give them attention. Recently, I did a sit down, not a consultation, but a meeting with a really famous person. And I was super excited. They got to see my setup. You know, we were on Ecamm, we were talking and it was great. But I was direct, I was looking directly into the lens because that's how you have to have this one-on-one -on -one relationship with this person online. And I couldn't look at my monitor because I did not want them to feel like I'm not looking at them, even though I am on the monitor, but I wanted to make sure I kept eye contact. And that meant me sitting with this famous person for like 30 minutes while I'm looking at the lens and this person is like on the other screen there. And I'm just like, um, can I enjoy your celebrity here? Nope, I have to look at here and be professional. And that drove me nuts. If I had the prompter, I'll enjoy speaking and seeing this person and it'll be a, a better overall experience on both ends so yeah that's pretty much why i will be getting the prompter or why i will be looking into it. i haven't really made up my mind yet okay i have I actually i'm gonna get it <laughs> i'm gonna get it but um yeah i feel like it's something that a content creator someone who does a lot of zoom calls someone who does a lot of videos who wants to keep track and keep notes so they can read. Like right now at the bottom, I have my, my MacBook with uh, notes open and it's just things I'm going to be saying. If I were to have the prompter, I'll be able to pop it right up there. So I'm really excited about this thing and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below and let me know, will you be getting the Elgato prompter? All right, see you in the next video.